Welcome back to the Digilent Physical Computing Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll set up our software and hardware. I've already installed LabVIEW and NIVISA. The next step is to install Lynx. I'll open a browser and browse to labviewmakerhub.com slash Lynx. From there, I'll click Download Now. This will take you to the LabVIEW Tools Network. I'll click the Download button at the bottom of the bullet list of features. Then I'll click the Download Toolkit button. This is a VIPM or VI Package Manager link. So I'll click Launch Application and the download will be launched in VI Package Manager. This will take just a second to open and when it does, it will show me the Lynx Toolkit in VI Package Manager. In the upper left, choose your version of LabVIEW, and then click Install. The list of packages and dependencies for Lynx will be listed here. Go ahead and click Next to continue the installation. Click Yes to accept the license agreement. And then Lynx will be downloaded and installed. This will take just a minute. Once the toolkit has been installed, VI Package Manager will report if there were any errors. In this case, there were no errors and everything was installed successfully. So I'll click Finish. Then I can close the Links window and I can close VI Package Manager. Now it's important to restart LabVIEW to refresh all of the palettes and examples. So I'll close this open VI, and then I'll close the LabVIEW getting started window. So our software is installed. Let's set up the hardware. Here I have my Chipkit WF32, and I've connected it with a USB cable, and I'll plug that into my computer. If this is the first time connecting the device, Windows may alert you that there's a new USB device, or it may not. Let's look in Device Manager to see if the device was installed correctly. I'll right click on the start menu in Windows 8 and choose Device Manager. Then I'll expand the ports section. And here we can see a USB serial port, COM4. That's the Chipkit WF32. You might get a different COM port depending on the devices that are connected to your computer. If the drivers didn't install correctly, you'll see a yellow exclamation mark over the device. In that case, you may need to download drivers for your device. And this generally depends on which version of Windows you're running. The drivers are included as part of MPIDE. You can download MPIDE from chipkit.net slash started slash install dash chipkit dash software. Once the drivers are installed, right click on the chipkit device in device manager and choose properties. We're going to tweak the drivers to make the communication with LabVIEW a little bit faster. I'll click on Port Settings, then choose Advanced. Under the BM Options section, change the latency timer from the default of 16 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. Press OK, press OK again, and close Device Manager. We can also close our browser at this point. Now we'll launch LabVIEW and deploy the Lynx firmware to the Chipkit WF32. The Lynx firmware allows LabVIEW to communicate with the chipkit. So from any LabVIEW window, I'll click Tools, Maker Hub, Lynx, and Lynx Firmware Wizard. When the firmware wizard launches, choose Device Family as Digilent, and under Device Type, choose Chipkit WF32. Then click Next. In this next window, choose the COM port associated with your chipkit. In our case, that was COM4, but it might be different on your computer. Then I'll click Next and choose the firmware version. To start out, we'll use the USB serial firmware. This is the easiest firmware to get started with. Later on, we'll move to the Wi-Fi firmware. So I'll choose Lynx serial slash USB and click Next. Now the Lynx firmware is deployed to the chipkit. 
you can see the progress bar updates, and you'll notice the TX and RX lights are flashing very quickly on the Chipkit WF32. This indicates that data is being transferred to the device. If the lights didn't flash, that means something maybe went wrong. So if that happens, at the end of the wizard, you can click View Log in the lower left. This will bring up a deployment log and tell you if there were any errors. In our case, everything seemed to go well, so I'll click Launch Example. This brings up a Lynx example. In the serial port dropdown, I'll choose the chipkit WF32, which is COM4, and I'll leave the digital output pin as 13. Digital output 13 is connected to an LED on the chipkit WF32. I'll click the Run button, and LabVIEW will establish a connection to the chipkit. Once it does, I can click on the front panel control to turn an LED on and off on the chip kit. I'll click stop to stop the VI. So that does it for our setup. We've installed all of our hardware and software, and we ran a simple example to make sure everything was working. In the next section, we'll look at how this code works and start writing some code of our own. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.